Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. This is System and Syndicate, and today we're going to take a look at what you can do with Linux that you normally would want to do with Windows. Um, this is just to kind of con uh, contrast the two and see which one people think is actually better. I'm also going to show you a couple cool things that I like to do with Linux, and just kind of see what you guys think. Alright, let's take a look. So what can you do with Linux that you can do with Windows? Well, you can browse the web. So if I wanted to go to the internet, I could open up Chrome here. <clears throat> I could see everything. I could go into here. I could open up LibreOffice and type a document. I don't really like cats and word puzzles, but that's what I wrote. So you get a you get a lot of the same kind of functionality as what I'm trying to show here. I could go in and watch a movie in VLC. And as you notice, Linux is very fast, and this is actually one of the slower desktop environments. In fact, look how fast it is at web browsing. Let me just show you what I mean. Let's open up a YouTube video. Let's, uh, this is a song by Tool. And let's open up multiple tabs. So I think we'd agree that a Java video is very high resource. And of course I'm doing this while filming. So what I've done is I've opened up a bunch of tabs and I've then closed them. Now I've set Chrome up before I made this video so that it opens all the tabs I have up um, every time that I last had up when I closed. So let's see, unless it breaks and asks me to restore the session, we should be able to see how fast Linux loads web pages compared to Windows. As you can see, all the videos are just done. This one's loading up. So it's pretty much the same as anything else. Now the thing I really like about this particular Linux distro is that you can actually go and edit just about anything. You can make this really large if you want, you can make it more smaller if you like that. Um, you can also put it up here, put it up to the top just like any other browser. Um, but there's more that you could do with KDE and I probably should save that for another video but you can actually go and make all this stuff transparent. Um, and so that's some of the stuff that you just can't do, you know, with other with other operating systems under Linux. You can't go in and change that much without doing any real programming. Um, another thing I really like about KDE is um, it just has better apps and it's a lot more like futuristic looking, but. You know, there's other dis there's other distros that um, I, I like for other reasons, like um, or not distros rather desktop environments that I like for other reasons, like OpenBox or or Cinnamon. Those are both really low on resources, especially OpenBox. Uh, some installs run at like 100 megabytes and still give you a full functioning desktop. Those are perfect for like let's say a netbook or a lower end laptop. Um, I also really like different. To, uh, terminals and I like the command line better in Linux. Um, now PowerShell is something I really like in Windows, but that's the and but that's still not as powerful as it is in Linux. Now here's for instance Yakuake, um, which is a similar browser to or similar uh, terminal that you can download to Quake if you've used Linux before. And you know it's pretty much the same thing. You can still run the same kind of commands. 
uh, ARP command, ping command, if you're familiar with your Windows commands. All these things still work. Um, let me just ping my router. So that's going to keep going. And so some of these things are some of the things that I really like is that, like, for instance, I think a ping test should always keep going. Windows thinks, you know, four, that's good enough. We've made sure the thing is up four times. We don't need to keep doing it. Linux will keep doing it. And you can do the same thing in Windows, but you have to do a dash A, I think. I forget which one it is. Or dash T. Yeah, you have to do a dash T in Windows to make it do this. So that's one difference that I find. Um, but you can still, like I said, you can still use a lot of your commands that you know. Like, let's see if trace really works. No, but I bet I could install it. Yeah, it's telling me right now I could install it. It's kind of hard to see because I'm silly and I decided to put in a Watson's picture there for the purpose of this video, but to uh, see. Uh, see i used to Windows commands now. I've been working in Windows, uh, Microsoft Cold Shop for the last almost two years, Microsoft Cold Partner. And um, so, it's, uh, it is what it is. Um, what else can I show you? You guys ever seen the command yes in Linux? It just does this again and again and again and again. If you can tell me what that command does, I'll give you a cookie. Because nobody knows. Uh, what it actually says, I, I doesn't even make sense to me. I've Googled it, and there is an answer, but uh, nobody really knows about the command or cares. Um, so there's different things like that. Um, let's check out some more things I could show you. You come in here. Um, there's lots of different desktop effects. Cube animations. Uh, you can make your ki your computer do different cube effects. Uh, let's see what the button is. Okay. There used to be control, and then hold on. Oh, sorry, hold on. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working right now. <clears throat> so here's your music player. Now, I really like this music player. Uh, I don't think we have much music here. As you can see here, uh, it pulls in a bunch of different information, like Wikipedia information. You can also go into uh, lyrics and look at their lyrics. Now, this song is too new. It's not going to have any lyrics in here. But when it does, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's take a look at their lyrics. Give me one moment. So here's a much better example and a much better band. Sorry, TI. Um, I just downloaded whatever was first in the list last time, but that was pretty awful. So here's one of my favorite songs by Metallica. And as you can see, it has their lyrics here. And if they were, if there was more to the song, it would run through these. Another one of my favorite songs. But anyway, you get the idea. It's a much better environment to kind of play around in because you get so much more out of a desktop environment, or out of a desktop period, not so much a desktop environment, that allows you to use so many different applications and packages and configure things differently. But it's, it's not a distribution for everybody. But it's definitely, I think, a distribution that most people could use instead of Windows and not get viruses from. You can do pretty much anything with Linux. Um, and if you, there's something that you can't do for whatever reason, you can always find a way to do it if you have a developer or somebody you can pay that can code this into, into the Linux distro. 
Um, so Linux gives you a lot more flexibility and does pretty much everything Windows can do. The only area where Linux can't be um, can't replace is where you need proprietary software that you know the developers haven't written that software for. So you know if they haven't written C you know Adobe Photoshop CS6 for for Linux, you're not going to be able to run it. Uh, unless a hacker out there or some other Linux programmer has decided to, to code their own version and or make it work in Wine with Play on Linux or something. Sometimes you can find that, but for the most part, most software won't work in Linux. But there are some. There are some games, there are some software that will work. Uh, you can actually go to Wine HQ and check that out and actually see uh, what distributions work and how well they work. They all get like a bronze, silver, and gold kind of rating. So make sure to check that out. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys like this vid this video. And um, if you didn't like it, let me know. If you do like it, let me know. Either way, it's always good to hear feedback, whether positive or negative. All right, guys. Later.